Hey kids, Sarah Cray here, and we are painting dinosaurs, and today we are painting the Triceratops. Yay! Which just happens to be my favorite dinosaur because my name is Sarah, and the name Sarah is in the name Triceratops. So makes it's a, always been my favorite. It makes a lot of sense. It does, it makes sense to me. Um, okay, so the colors that I use for this project are mostly the purple and the pink, but I would like to say that you guys can use whatever colors you want. This is your dinosaur. Don't be afraid to change it up and make it yours. And we are gonna do this dinosaur in three steps. So the very first step is we are going to paint the body here. Our second step is we will paint the horns. Our third step is just details and that's it. Now before we get started, we are going to do our oath. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me, I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not to compare my work. And I promise to have fun. I promise to have fun. Thank you. And I like to start that way because painting and creating art, it's not about seeing who's his best. It's not about trying to make it look exactly like someone else's. Sometimes it's just about exploring and having fun. And I just want to remind you of that. So. Let's get to it. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush that comes in my kit and I'm gonna get it wet and then I'm gonna hit the bristles off the side of the cup so it's not too wet. And this time I'm just gonna pick up some color. I'm gonna do this purplish color down here and I'm just gonna start coloring in my dinosaur. So this is kind of like a bluish purple color, okay? And then when I get to the top of this, what do you think this is called, Michael? This part. Oh, I just saw it. Uh, I will tell you in a second. Okay. You keep going. Well, the top of that area is gonna be pink. So I'm actually gonna grab some of that pink now and put that in. And then it's gonna blend, this pink and this bluish purple is gonna blend to make more of a regular purple. And you can blend that right on your painting tray if you want. Just grab some of that blue and bring it over to the pink. And then I'm just gonna start spreading it around. So we have a nice little color change going on. And you can make, remember this is your painting, so if you wanna make different parts of it, different colors than what I am doing, please feel free to do that. You don't have to follow me exactly. It's called a frill. Oh, this is called a frill? The little like weird head thing is called a frill. Frill. That's a great name. Let's, uh, let's segue into Triceratops facts from that little thing. Okay. All right, so these guys lived at the same time as T-Rex, about 60 million years ago. Okay. Um, there was a very large extinction event around 60 million years ago, so a lot of things died around then. They uh -huh. think it was the um, impact in Mexico that killed everything, but you know, speculation, I guess. Okay. They are about 10 feet tall. Okay. And they weigh 13 tons. That's 26,000 pounds. Whoa. So they're way heavier than the Stegosaurus we talked about earlier. Are they heavier than a house? No. Okay. I don't know how much houses weigh. I just was guessing something big. Probably a lot. <laughs> yeah, probably. A car is like one ton, two tons. So this weighs as much tons. as 13 cars? Six to 13, yeah. Okay. Depending on your car. Okay. Geo Metro's 13. <laughs> Smart cars. Suburban, maybe two <laughs> or three. Okay. Um, famous fossil finding names. We uh -huh. have Yoshi. Oh. Hatcher. Uh -huh. Kelsey and Raymond. Ooh, this is a Kelsey to me. Kelsey. This is Kelsey the Triceratops. Okay, so I have my dark purple, and I'm going to keep doing that dark purple on the top part of my dinosaur. Now, again, I'm mixing this color purple by doing this bluish purple and the pink. That's how I'm getting this purple that I have going on here. And then when it gets to kind of the bottom of the triceratops, it turns more into that blue purple. So I'm gonna do 
pink purpley on the top, and then blue purpley on the bottom. Now I just want to remind you guys yet again, feel free to change these colors as you see fit. You are the artist, this is your world that you're creating, you can do whatever you want. Um, another thing is I'm going to, this little space in between this front leg and the back leg, I'm going to make a darker color, this dark color here. So I'm putting that in now. So this is kind of how my dinosaur is looking now. That's a great color dinosaur. I love this color, and this also happens to be my husband's favorite color. He loves purple. Mm -hmm. So a nice blue purple. Yeah. Blurple. I'm more of a fan of a pink purple. Michael's more of a fan of a blue purple. So I did both. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the legs and like the front legs and the back legs. Now these two right here, I want to make sure they're lighter than the stomach area that I put in this in-between area. Now, how to make sure something is lighter in watercolor is you just want to make sure that you have more water than paint on your paintbrush. That's it. And that's how you can get a lighter color. Pretty easy, huh? With other paints, you sometimes have to mix like white into them. But this is why I love watercolor because you use water a lot as if it's a paint color. And I think that is pretty cool. So I'm now kind of coloring in most of the body. And if you want to smooth it out, just kind of work your paintbrush back and forth. Like so. I always think it'd be fun to have like tiny versions of big animals as pets, like a tiny, tiny dog-sized elephant. I yes. also think a tiny, tiny dog-sized triceratops would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just cuddling on the couch with you. Out of all of the dinosaurs in this dinosaur kit, which one would you want a miniature version of? Uh, I feel like it hurt to step on your stegosaurus on accident. Yes. I feel like your triceratops would get mad and ram you. Yeah, definitely a ramming type animal. I feel like your miniature T-Rex would bite you. So mm -hmm. probably a brontosaurus. Good call. A little tiny brontosaurus. I'd make a little saddle and put a fake doll on him. <laughs> okay, now I'm doing the back parts of the legs on my triceratops. Now, I kind of did them light at first, so I'm going to go back in and do them a little bit darker. I'm going to do a little bit darker near the top because they're kind of coming out from the body and the body is casting a shadow on these legs. So they would be a little bit darker where they're coming out from because a shadow would be there. Like that. I feel like I need a little bit more pink going on in the top. So I'm gonna do another layer of pink. Now your dinosaur might not need another layer of pink, so you get to decide if this is something that your dinosaur needs. And maybe he or she doesn't need it. Now are Triceratops carnivores? Nope. Are they herbivores? Yep. Okay. So, so far our dinosaurs, we have three herbivores and a carnivore, right? Was a Stegosaurus a car uh, herbivore? Yes. And herbivore just means they eat plants. Carnivore means they eat meat, and omnivore means they eat both. I don't think very many reptiles were omnivores. Oh, really? I think that's more of a recent evolutionary development. Okay. Because it usually you develop one type of stomach. You develop the ability to digest plants, or you develop the ability to digest meat. Mm. It's very expensive from an evolutionary standpoint to develop a stomach that does both. How interesting. So we're omnivores. We are omnivores. But we, we're expensive creatures. We raise our young till they're very old. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we put a lot of effort into them. A dinosaur is born ready to go. Mm. They come out of an egg and they're just little dinosaurs ready to go. I, exactly. I know it's so silly. I know the reptiles. I forget they come out of eggs. Some <laughs> reptiles don't. Like some snakes, um, so boas and pythons are in the same family, mm -hmm. and pythons lay eggs, mm -hmm. and boas do not. They're live bearers. But some there's... fish are live bearers also. Oh, but they're reptiles. Yeah. Okay. Also, snake eggs are leathery. Yes. 
I did know that, I feel. Eggs are weird. <laughs> they are weird. Okay, we're, we're going to move on. We're <laughs> well, moving on to set two. Because I want to talk more about this, but i got to teach them how to paint. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to move on to step two. I'm going to do the horns and the mouth, and I'm going to do this tan color up here. Um, and so I'm just going to put that in there. And if you want, I'm going to have the front of the horns be darker than the back. So I'm only painting the front. And then I'm going to rinse my brush. And using water, I'm just going to blend out these colors and spread it to cover the rest of the horn. But since I'm just using water, it should be lighter on the back part than the front. You see that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to do the mouth. Now, if this tan color is maybe a little bit too yellow or gold for you, you can get a little bit of this brown that's in the bottom right and use some brown. Now, I'm not going to do the inside of the mouth just yet. We will wait for step three. So I'm only doing the top and the bottom. What a funky little beak they have. I know. I was just thinking it looks like a beak. I was just reading it self-sharpens when they chew. Yeah. So it sharpens it back into chewing shape. Really? Yeah. Kind of interesting. That's cool. Okay. So while that dries, I am going to kind of look at my dinosaur and, and see if there's anything else I want to add or maybe some details. Now, I do like how in my reference photo here, the front of this leg is a little bit darker. And I don't kind of I don't have that kind of dark edge on my leg, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. What did you name this one? This is Kelsey. Kelsey, that's a cute name. It is cute. Any Kelseys out there? You got a good name. Great name. It just seems nice. Kelsey. When I think of Kelsey, I think of nice. You just okay. offended all the mean Kelsies. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to do a little bit of scales here. And for scales, they're U-shaped. And if you've watched the other dinosaur tutorials, you might have already seen this. But if this is your first, I want to just kind of go over the shapes with you. They're basically just U's next to each other that are connected. And then the next row, it starts in the middle. So this is called staggered. There, these scales are staggered from each other, like so. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of scale details on the front, on this leg and the back. You can do it more, you cannot do scales. You can do whatever you want. This is your dinosaur that you're making and it's your world. Now, you can see here that the back of my dinosaur is still a little bit wet. So because it's wet, when I'm putting my scales in, they're kind of bleeding and blending out a little bit. And I'm okay with that. But if I want them to stay nice and sharp and dark, then I would want to wait until the area was dry before I painted on it. But you guys get to be the one to decide that look. And there's not, it's not wrong to do it this way, it's just two different ways to do it. And if you don't feel up to doing these scales, you don't have to. I'm just going to kind of blend out around them using just water. Kind of make them a little bit fuzzy and transition into our, our body. Okay. And then I'm going to do the inside of the mouth. This one I'm going to do just black. But this mouth is open and I thought it would be fun because if you guys wanted to do a tongue sticking out or something like that, you totally could. I'm just going to leave mine black. And then you might notice that this little dinosaur doesn't have eyes. And the reason why I left um, the faces off is because usually faces give us such a strong expression. We can tell how someone is feeling by looking at their face. And I wanted you guys to, dis to decide how your dinosaur is feeling. Now, if you um, want to do a face, but it's hard for you to do small marks with your paintbrush, you can use a marker or a pen. So I just have a little bit of a marker here. 
Now we have our mouth open. I'm going to leave it just like that. And I'm going to make this one angry. I was going to say shocked. Shocked? Oh, because the mouth is open. The mouth is open. Okay. Okay. So if I were to do a shocked expression, when you look surprised, your eyes go wide. So you can kind of see the whites around your eyes and your eyebrows go up. So He's shocked at how good the T-Rex looked with glasses. <laughs> that T-Rex did look good with glasses. Okay, so I will do a big circle for Those the eye. The with glasses. Huh? Who had glasses? The T-Rex okay. had glasses. And then his eyeball, or her eyeball, and then she's going to kind of have an eyebrow going up. So she looks surprised. <laughs> Does she look surprised? <laughs> she almost looks scared a little bit too, but I guess surprise could also be scared. <laughs> so you guys can make your dinosaur look however you want. Have fun with it. And also I would like to say that take some time to put your dinosaur, put a background in it. Um, I think, I, I mean, whenever I think of dinosaurs, I think of lots of trees and bushes and mountains and you think of cycads but you don't know it what are cycads They're like ferns can you do a picture of a cycad right here yes okay so now you guys know what cycads are um and then um but i just want to say take some take some time have some fun make it yours do whatever you want maybe this is your pet dinosaur it has a little leash and maybe you brought it to school and you can paint that. You can do whatever you want. This is your world that you're creating. So if you painted this with us, I would love to see it. So if you ask a grown up for help, you can share it with us. If they have Instagram, they could tag us at let's go make art or hashtag let's make art. Um, Facebook, it's the same. Or you can email us at hello at let's make art if you have any questions or you just wanna show us your work. Um, if you need any of these supplies, you can find them at letsmakeart.com. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun. That's it. Bye.